as we discussed in our previous module that what are the different mechanism involved in filter sterilization or the filtration but in particular in this module we will talk about the use of the filtration for the sterilization of the fermentation medium so as we discussed in our previous modules that uh, when we are dealing with the sterilization of the medium using the heat then there is the chance of uh, the nutrient loss so when the medium is uh, or a media is very sensitive to the heat then there is the only choice the use of the filtration so especially when we are dealing with the medium for animal cell culture so that cannot be sterilized by the steam because that contain a very heat liable proteins so thus the filtration is the method of choice and the fixed pore or absolute filtration is the better system to use so an ideal filtration system for the sterilization of the animal cell culture must fulfill the following criteria so these are the criteria that should be fulfilled for the filtration process number 1 that is the filter medium must be free of fungal bacterial and mycoplasma contaminations because when we filter the medium and we should assure that that should be properly removed either that will the fungal bacterial or mycoplasma so if any medium is uh, passed through the filter then we should assure ourselves that should be properly removed from these agents the second there should be a minimal adsorption of protein to the filter surface so if we are dealing with the a lactostatic interaction in some cases some proteins can attach to that filter so if we are using the filtration process then we should very careful about that there should be as minimum as the adsorption of the protein to that uh, filter surface as concern the third requirement the filtered medium should be free of viruses as concern the fourth the filtered medium should be free of the bacterial endotoxins this is very critical because if we say that uh, the medium is filtered and that is free from all those fungal bacterial and mycoplasmic uh, organisms are the contaminate contaminants but sometimes when there is an old and the media remain for a uh, long time then there is a growth and during the result of the growth in the, that medium what happen those microorganism secrete some uh, uh, endotoxins into that medium so as concern the filtration mechanism that cannot be removed those endotoxins so we should assure that if we are using the filtration we should avoid such uh, the production of such a bacterial endotoxin into that medium because we cannot remove such uh, endotoxins which can uh, alter which can uh, if have a negative effect on our fermentation process so as concern there are the several filter manufacturers now apply the absolute filtration system for the sterilization of the animal cell culture medium so such system consist of the membrane cartridges which are fitted into the stainless steel and those filters are steam sterilizable modules so the membrane for the medium sterilization are constructed uh, from the steam sterilizable hydrophilic material and are treated to produce a filtrate of particular quality so for example if the minimal protein adsorption is a major criteria then a specially coated filter membrane is used so it would be very difficult to construct a single filtration membrane which would fulfill all four criteria as we discussed in our previous slide so thus a series of the filter are used to achieve the desired result as you can see in uh, the next slide in this slide you can see there is a series of uh, filters so you can say here this is the uh, bulk pooling tank so the vent air because if there is a pressure and vent and then there is a pressure so filter 1 filter 2 filter 3 and filter 4 so as concern all these four filters so you can see what is the function of the first filter so 
the pore size in first filter will be the 5 micron meter which absolute rated pre filter for the remover of coarse participates and then the second filter having the size and the pore size of 0.5 micron meter that absolute rated for pre filter for bulk bio burden removal just to increase the life of the third and fourth as concerned the third filter that having uh, the pore size of 0.1 micron that absolute rated the single layer pre filter for further bio burden and endotoxin removal so as concerned the four filters fourth filter that having the a pore size of 0.1 micron meter that is also absolute rated double layer final filter in this you can see that the single layer but in the fourth filter that is the double layer for final filter and absolute sterility that is used for the mycoplasma removal and further if there is any minor and the, the micro quantity of the endotoxin so as concern in other you can see here that uh, if here is the fermenter and then uh, if we are dealing with the uh, so the filter 1 and filter 2 in case of uh, the represent the filtration shift for the removal of the cell and the cell debris from the animal cell culture from, uh, fermentation so in this case the first filter having uh, the pore size of 1 micron just to rated the pre filter for bulk cell and the cell debris as concerned the second that is the 0.2 micron so that is a single layer bio inert filters for final bio burden removal so in this case there's a series of the filter that is used for the proper sterilization so the pre filters are used as we have seen in our previous figures that the pre filters are mostly used for the removal of uh, the coarse particles especially they are the bigger particles if we are not using the pre filters then there is a chance of uh, the blockage of the filters so just to check just to avoid the blockage of the uh, fine filters and just to increase the life of uh, uh, the filters then there is the need of the pre filters so we have to line up all those filters just decreasing the pore size from the first to the next series of the ferment uh, for the filters so if we are using the filters in a series then we can have uh, the surety of proper sterilization.